And here we are, level 6 of Soul Blazer, King Madrid's Castle. King Madrid, the person who started this whole mess by making a deal with Death Toll. One gold piece for every living being. I guess he didn't think he was part of the deal. I'd like to think that the demon... I, I imagine the scene playing out just where the demon Death Toll hands him one extra gold coin. And the king's like, well, what's this for? And the Death Toll just smiles at him. And then takes him. Nice bit of karma, I feel. Okay, starting off in the dungeon. The only available area we can get to. Big threats are snakes, which keep coming back. They don't have a base. Skeletons, which do have a base. And I believe we have spooks coming up. And spooks are significant because they can only be heard by the spook sword. Okay, well, it's, I think it's called the Spectre Sword, maybe? Spirit Sword. That's what it was. Spook, spirit, sp spook, spirit, or Spectre. It's all sort of the same thing. And there you go. I can't hit the guy. And unlike the Metal Sword, the... Zenzetsu? I can't remember what they call them, the Metal Sword, but uh, unlike that one, there's really only one other enemy in the game that uh, that becomes an issue for. And that's in level two. That was those those fireballs bouncing around the first floor. Weird. Let's see, we got 80 gems. Okay, we got some skeletons. Oh, we already killed the, the deadly skeletons. Okay, I missed it the first time here. But if you're playing this, you'll want to search that skeleton up there. Because it's got a harp string you're going to need later. No sparkle, no indication it's there. Like, one person mentions that his friend was killed in the, uh... I'm sorry, I can't, I'm trying to get away from the, uh, uh, uh. I do that whenever I order fast food, too. Like, well, what's your name? Uh, Mike. I'm waiting for somebody to call me out on that one day. Order for, uh, Mike. <laughs> but there's a bard in town who mentions his friend was killed, was brought to the dungeons and tortured for something. The king was apparently a jerk even before Death Toll came around, so. Okay, two more layers. One of them is a phantom. One of them is these skeletons. Okay. We will finish up the skeletons, and then we'll see if we can't find the sword, because... Oh, did I already get the sword? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Not even paying attention to my own gameplay, that's, that's pretty bad. Okay, we got another guard, or a soldier. Yeah, speaking of spook, the term spook, I use it often. It's actually one of my favorite words because uh, spooky. I love spooky. I love Halloween. Favorite holiday. And of course, you know, the Wizard of Oz. I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. It's just a great little word, but um, apparently, and this just shocked me, I didn't realize it was once used as a derogatory term. I'd only ever heard it used as, it, like, in the Halloween denominator, like, in terms of Halloween, you know? A ghost. A spook. And I look it up, and true enough, that's what the origin of the word is. It's, uh, I believe it's Finnish or Danish, meaning of a spectral nature. Which makes me feel a little better, but at the same time, I don't want to go around, you know, you know how it is. You don't. Nobody. I don't think. Well, most people, I think, don't want to offend anybody. Still, I had an incident with a lady who. Oh, there, I did it again. <laughs> Somebody count how many times I go uh and put it in the comment section for me. Anyway, I have a friend who's been proofreading the Sakamoto Journal Sarah and the Dragon for me. I've been making a very specific grammar error to do with. Sended like dialogue sentences and commas. 
And I'm going to have to go back through basically the whole thing to fix it. But she's the one who brought it to my attention because uh, there's a lot, did it again, line in the first book where they're talking about the basement of the Sabara Mansion being haunted. Jimmy Superior kind of laughs it off at first, but whenever they're alone, he asks Jimmy, ever been spooked by a spook? Then again, I suppose everyone's going to, in context, there's no way to take it out of context there. They were just talking about ghosts in the basement, and let's face it, this is another planet. The fact that they look like they're speaking English is because I'm, as the writer, supposedly translating it into English for them. I always imagined Vinta had sort of a basic language. Basic language and probably regional dialects. Kind of like a... Well, I guess you could say Kryn. I got a lot of inspiration from the Dragonlance series. That makes sense. And let's face it, if Earth ever has like a common language, it's probably going to end up being put as uh, English. And I don't mean that in a superior sense. I mean that in like a... I did it again. But it's sort of a generic language. The fact that this uses a generic language actually makes the other languages more valuable to know because not everybody knows them. English is kind of, we'd be, in this context, be kind of the dummy language. The one you can speak and be sure that somebody will sort of understand you, but. I was wondering. That's, now it got me thinking about that. That's interesting in terms of a fantasy universe to have a common language. How do people re retreat that common language? Huh. I gotta think about that. Okay, where are we at? Um, another floor down. One layer left. Uh, there are secret areas in this part. We'll have to find the little the helper who's going to be in the glowy orb to help us find him. But, you don't need him, as you can see here. On the other hand, if a treasure chest appears in this, this black room I'm in at the moment, I'm kind of screwed. Oh, there we go. Mm, not just yet. Yes, we know. I've always been a bit surprised by that sort of thinking. Well, I guess we are going back. Okay. Let's see. I think the next area is going to be to the left of this. Yes, we already have the Spectre Sword. Spook Blade. Doesn't it just sound cool? Just imagine a sword of a ghost engraved in the hilt. Okay. Oh, he's sleeping. Really? <laughs> just sleeping in the middle of the road. Monster called research. But not pay attention to my wife and daughter. Still, I didn't understand. I was praised as a genius, a scientist. Venting things like the water mill, the elevator, and the airship. I'm just saying, there's a bit of a jump there. Yes, 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 technology and the decline. I, yeah, I've been watching Fringe too. In truth, I actually just started watching that. It's actually very interesting. Especially since I finished up Warehouse 13. Okay, Dr. Leo. Oh, sorry. Uh, I should do this earlier in the day. Uh, Dr. Leo has issues with making technology. Let's face it, the only bad thing he made was the... Sorry, it just occurred to me. The machine to summon evil. There's the elemental now. Yeah, it says... Well, from the name of it, you'd think it would be like the freeze armor, and it would basically protect you from 
lava or deep cold zones. It's for spikes. The elemental armor is for spikes. Here's something kind of annoying. Uh, we're gonna free a guard who's gonna be in the bottom row of that building there. Standing on the card. Now, knowing that, you'd think I could go there before I free him and take it. Nope. Okay. I think we're almost finished with the dungeon part. Again, I still need the thread, but I think I haven't figured it out yet in this part. I should mention when I do the next one, whatever whatever I play next, it will be real time. I'm not going to do this pre-recording thing unless I just can't think of another method. I've got a decent microphone now. I've got a good computer to record on. We're assuming we have air conditioning in my house by that point. And mind you, it's been two weeks since I've been able to go home. Because it's been 80 degrees in the morning. But assuming I can get in there, yeah, I should be able to just record. Record audio and video at the same time. Besides, it's been a while since I played Terra Enigma. Like, that was like right whenever I discovered the emulation. Wee little innocent Mike, or Alan, whichever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Okay, got some spikes here. And a maid. Okay. You know, I actually do have a, um, that oh, one second. Sorry about that. Uh, I do actually do have a, um, oh yeah, I found out by accident. I remember that. One of the emblems, too. The emblems actually are kind of tricky to find, and you don't need them to beat the game. In fact, if memory serves, I don't think I have them <laughs> for I beat the game. Uh, I've recorded up to that. I've actually recorded the rest of this right now, but uh, still, I do I do go around finding all of them, and we'll go to that. We'll do the backtracking all in one episode. I'll probably do another short story. I'm thinking fifty bucks is it's one of, another one of my little favorites. Yeah, speaking of my own work. On the other hand. I do have the beginnings of a creepy pasta I've been working on. About as far as the first entry. I could read that if somebody if it was like specifically requested. And this is the part where I realize that the armor works on spikes. <laughs> well, it's called elemental armor. I didn't think about it. In the event that anyone actually is going to comment on this, I don't say I just, I just don't have a lot of viewers right now. But let's face it, there are tons of less players out there. Now I'm just kind of doing this for fun. Oh, see, this is a soldier. He's standing on a card I need, which only like, I guess it was attached to him when he was taken. But uh, if you are watching and enjoying my rambling. I'd be more welcome to take. I'd be more than happy to take a request for what game to do next. And like I said, I'm thinking of uh, finishing up the Gaia series, basically doing the Illusion of Gaia and Terranigma. Uh, Secret of Mana I haven't played in a long time. I've never played all the way through the second one or the. Uh, I think it's technically the third or the second in Setsu Three. If I can get a PlayStation emulator to work with Fraps, I uh, wouldn't mind doing. Legend of Mana, though that would probably take a very long time. What's another good adventure? Uh, Brain Lord, the Super Nintendo Brain Lord, would be interesting. I don't, never beat that one either. I only know that it's kind of an adventure game, and it's about it. Uh, there's always Zelda. Zelda's kind of the classic, I suppose. Uh, again, a place I get the PlayStation emulator thing going. I wouldn't mind doing a Lundra. 
definitely a big inspiration for the Elsewhere universe there. Oh, yes, this is the uh, airship dock. That's actually towards the end of this level. We're not quite there yet. Actually, no, we got another part before we get anywhere near that. But... There, they should actually finish up the dungeons, though. So, Yep, okay, this is where we're going next. This is the next area. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, though. I think it's just part of the castle. Okay, we'll head back, start talking to everyone, heal up. But yeah, just adventure games. You, you, you get what I mean by that by this point. So, hey, by all means, suggest something. The king is the greatest man in the world. I must say that I will be punished. Okay. Yeah, we can't get into there without the card. We can't get the card without getting the guard off his card. I came here to relax. While listening to the guard, Bob Hurt sees a card under the guard's feet. But asking the guard to move, I guess it's just too much. Okay. Nothing suspicious going on here. Yeah, here it is, guy right here. Frederick disobeyed the king. He wanted to save Dr. Leo. He was taken to the torture room in the first basement and never came back. I was going to say his cheap friend just gave him a harp string for a birthday present. But knowing how expensive harp strings can be, depending on material and such... I'm sorry, I shouldn't leave my fists and finish, but yeah, harp strings can be kind of pricey. At least I think so. I know guitar strings can be pricey, depending on the quality, of course. But yeah, see, I couldn't remember if it was actually within the, um... The hidden areas in the lower levels. But it's actually right up here. And you can pick it up the first time you're here, too. Harp string. That's all we need. I think we'll probably finish off right there for this one. Let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of... Uh... Just about finished with uh, the last part of ever... Uh, was Undertale ever deep? Well, the, the second book, anyway. Hopefully, we'll extend beyond the third book. Uh, doing the proof reading for Sarah and the Dragon with the aid of my friend who pointed out the spook thing. And I've got the outline of book, A Dreamer's Night 4 kind of set up. There's still only about 75% of it written. I need to go back and like do the extra chapters I've written in the outline. But I do feel a lot more solid about it now, so it shouldn't take too long. Still need a cover artist. If you're a good artist, hey, drop me a line. Oh, there you go. Well, I will point out that he's gonna put the song he plays is probably my favorite track in the game, and one of the more memorable ones, I suppose, from the game in total. Yeah, Lisa. It's Lisa's theme. It's a nice little song, though. Oh, and he's moved. Good. Get his card. Well, I think that pretty much sets us up for now. We'll finish up later. Uh, let's see. Not too much left to go. One more part for the castle, then we have uh, Death Tolls area. Okay. Well... We'll pick up here next time. Have a good one.